Good evening and first tonight the government has granted special protection to the place in Leicester where the remains of King Richard III were discovered. The amazing find put Leicester in the global spotlight and finally solved the mystery of where the king had been buried. Now the medieval site will be protected for future generations. To tell us more, our reporter Amy Harris is in Leicester for us tonight. Amy, why has this happened? Well, Gita, the world watched in astonishment, didn't it, when the remains of King Richard III were unearthed here back in 2012. Now that focus has shifted to what's left of his burial site. Now, the king was, of course, found in a council car park, which has now been made into the lovely visitor centre uh, just behind me. But when he died in 1485, this whole area was, in fact, a medieval monastery. And remarkably, traces of that remain underground as modern-day Leicester develops around it. So that's extremely rare. So the site has been uh, granted protection to ensure its long-term interests are considered first before any changes can be made. And that, of course, has been warmly welcomed today in Leicester, as I've been finding out. King Richard III's remains were found in a Leicester Council car park, which centuries before was a medieval monastery. Remarkably, the Greyfriars site has survived as the city developed around it, and now its remains are in the spotlight, granted government protection on the advice of Historic England. A very few of these are scheduled and protected in this way in, in town and city centres, primarily because often the sites have been built upon, so the assessment and designation often isn't, isn't the right way to manage it. What's incredibly unusual here is that the site has remained relatively open since the medieval period and hasn't been encumbered by sort of modern day development. The protection means that what's below the ground, not just here, but across the whole Greyfriars site, will be carefully looked after for centuries to come a recognition of Leicester's important part in this country's history. Well, the usual planning processes are still in place with the City Council, but there's an additional layer of permission required to develop the site, and especially if that involves disturbing the ground and, uh, and digging in the ground. Well, of course it gives extra protection, but it also gives extra prominence to Leicester and to its rich 2,000 years of history. And that's very important for preserving what's here, but also telling the world about it. Richard III's remains now lie at Leicester Cathedral and with his original burial site nearby now protected, the story of the king in the car park which has captivated the world can continue to be told. Well, we heard from Ian Gordon, director uh, here at the Visitor Centre in my report. And I'm pleased to say he's here now to talk about this a little more. Uh, first of all, Ian, your reaction to the news. You must be delighted. We are delighted, yes. We've been very privileged to be able to tell this story for the last three and a half years. But it's a story that's been over 500 years in the making. Um, and it's a, a very significant story in English history so to have this um, scheduled monument announcement today has been fantastic. And what protection will this give to the site in years to come? I mean what difference will it make? Well in addition to the normal planning consent and planning laws that the City Council administer there's now another layer um, of permission required the scheduled ancient monument permission uh, consent is required before any changes or building can be done and, and the ground um, um, is disturbed um, so yeah we're, we're pleased. It sounds a bit complicated. I mean, how will it be easy to monitor? It's right next to the visitor centre, so I guess you'll be keeping an eye out. We will, and inside the visitor centre, obviously, we're, we manage and uh, uh, control the development and we look after the grave sites because it's very important. Um, external areas um, will still come under the City Council and uh, Historic England themselves will, uh, will play a part in any consents that uh, are awarded. And how will this benefit, finally, the site here and the city, do you think? It's all about protecting the story and the site for future generations um, in order to uh, preserve the, the significant uh, historical part of, uh, of the story. We can now um, continue to tell this to educational visits and uh, other visitors, as we have been doing. Fantastic, Ian. Thank you so much. Well, we'll leave it there for now, but there will be much more on this story in our late news at half past ten. Great news. Thank you very much, Amy.